Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. All right guys, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 web browser. So this is gonna be a review on the web browser and see how it is. Um, and to be more fair this time, I'm gonna do it on the three top browsers out on the market. Uh, internet browser, the stock browser that comes with it. Dolphin browser, my personal favorite for tablets. Uh, for phones, it's either or. And then, of course, Chrome browser, uh, the top browser out right now. So let's take a look at all three. All right, now we're going to be going over two websites and just kind of seeing how the Galaxy S3 uh, does it. Um, so on this one, we're going to go to phonearena.com. I personally always like this website um, just for all the flash content so we can really see how um, it stacks up with heavy flash usage. So let's check it out, see how it does. Let's in a little bit more there. And just finish loading. All right. So um, as you can see, scrolling up and down isn't really that much um, difficult on it once it's fully loaded. The pinch to zoom is really nice. The moving is OK. The double tap is really quick. Um, Overall, it's really a good experience, but we can see some lag at certain times with this one. All right, let's go to um, CNN.com. And let's see if we can request the desktop one. And as you can see on the menu right here, you have a pretty nice, you know, forward, new window, uh, bookmark, shortcut, oops, find on the page, things like that. Another pretty nice thing is um, if you pinch this in when you're all the way out, you'll actually see all of your tabs. So it's a pretty nice thing. And if you want to close it, you just oops, push uh, for this one. You just push that minus mark and you can close that one. Let's go back and see, see how CNN is doing. So again, pinch to zoom is relatively uh, very responsive, um, but you can kind of see overall, oh, this one's actually pretty good. Uh, not as much flash on this website, of course, so it does pretty well overall. So now let's go to Dolphin Browser. Now Dolphin Browser has some pretty nice things. Uh, one, you can push this little dolphin button on the bottom, and you have a sonar, which you can say the website you want. Uh, so let's go for it. Phone Arena. And it'll know what website to go to, because I go to it, it's in the history. So it'll go to right there. Another thing you can do is program gestures, so you can like program a P to be for Phone Arena, um, as it is on mine. So that's pretty cool too. And fortunately we got an ad over here. Okay, looks like it went away. Screw the ad. Um, and now it's just, yep, it's all the way loaded. Okay, so again, very heavy flash. Um, you can see in this one though, the pinch to zoom is a little bit better and moving around isn't any issue at all in this one. Now let's go try CNN. I'm gonna again push that one. CNN. All right, and again, we have that there. For this one, um, when you push menu, just to show you what it comes up. At the bottom, you have uh, bookmark, more, and add-ons. Dolphin has a lot of add-ons that are pretty nice. And then you have right here, download, share page, anything like that. And you can also see your, t uh, your bookmarks and everything like that from sliding to the left on Dolphin. And then of course, going to the right, accesses all your plugins. All right, so now we're on CNN, and this one, uh, when you first install Dolphin, it asks you if you want to view all of your pages as a desktop, as a tablet, or as a phone. I chose desktop, so it automatically loads the desktop version of this one. And now, again, you can see this is just a lot faster compared to the stock browser. Again, you won't really have any issues with the Samsung in terms of web browsing experience. And um, very clear text even when zoomed all the way in. 
All right. Now let's go for Chrome browser. Chrome browser is my personal favorite, um, and I'll show you guys why in a second. As it's loading phone arena page, I'll show you. So you have your little tab section right up here at the top. And you kind of see all of the websites um, that you have uh, gone to or you left open. And to close one out, you just literally go left like that or move to right and it closes the tab. Um, you can also, however, do this, which is what I really like about it. It actually syncs all of your Chrome uh, browser. So that's my desktop. That's my Nexus phone, and of course this is, if I were on my Nexus or my t uh, um, computer, it would have that, as well as you can have your tablet, you know, everything that has a Chrome browser uh, will share these tabs. You also have, of course, all your bookmarks and everything like that, so another nice thing about it. Let's go back to the page. Alright, and it is fully loaded. Now in terms of menu right here, before we get started, uh, you have this really nice back, forward, and uh, star for the start of bookmark. Um, to look at your bookmarks, of course, you have right there. Um, you can click right to your other devices right here, which is really nice, of course. And, of course, the same share, find page, and request desktop as a stock browser. All right, now you can see this one zooming in isn't a problem. I would say this is a little bit faster overall. It's definitely between this one and Dolphin Browser. Now, the definitely thing that this one you have to keep in mind is there is no flash. So, the nice thing is, you know, you avoid all those bad advertisements. The downside to that, is, of course, is that you do not have a flash. So, for those of you who do like flash, um, because a lot of websites are still using it at this point, um, it is a downside to it. And again, since you don't go to the desktop, you just request it and I'll take us to the desktop site. And again, you can see these empty spaces where Flash would be, um, just important to note. Uh, this website though mainly is the HTML5, so you can see that you still have animation on CNN.com. And again, very fluid. Um, you're not really having any kind of problems with it. You know, it's still very clear. And really good. All right, guys. So that was the web browser review. Uh, basically, you won't have a bad experience um, with the Galaxy History at all. I would recommend Dolphin Browser, uh, Chrome Browser, and Stock One's okay. But really, these two will give you a much better experience in my uh, experience, as well as you've seen it right here firsthand. All right, guys, if you have any questions about the browsers, uh, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.